Okay, so I will talk about this thing about narcissism. I'll just let you know that I don't know much about it, but I know a lot of women complain about uh, men and boys being narcissists, meaning that the narcissist will not give them what they seek after. Women who seek after, they seek after validation. The women seek after being accepted by this person and to have security and validation and a healthy relationship with this person. But if it's not happening and it's not happening over a long time, then my advice is just leave that person, leave that narcissist, okay? And if you're, I mean, what can I say? I, because I think in most cases, women are very fast to deem someone to be a narcissist. I'm not saying this because I have experienced this or be, experienced being called a narcissist or something like that. But um, it's such an abstract term, a narcissist. What is that? Someone who loves themselves? Or someone who abuses others for their own pleasure? Or someone who is selfish? Maybe a combination of all these three and more. But if you're in a toxic relationship, yes, the best thing is to cut it out, to get out of it. Even if you love the person, then you should probably get out of this relationship because it's hurting you. Okay? But, so, that's that. You don't have to dwell over it. And you don't have to... Okay, you can dwell over it and you can analyze the situation. But you can't forever go chasing like a witch hunt, chasing after narcissists. And then uh, all that, you're focusing so much about a narcissist that the only thing that you're going to manifest in your life are more narcissists. More people who do exactly the same thing because this is what you 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 have this hatred towards. You have not forgiven this person. And the thing that you have not forgiven will probably run back into your life again and again. You have to forgive it. Forgive it, bless it, let it go. And seek a better life for yourself and for the people around you. Stop complaining so much about narcissists. Yes, it's okay that we have information about it, but if you seek information and knowledge about narcissism, narcissism every day, you hear about it, you feed yourself this about what is, what do they do, what are their methods, like they, like a narcissist, he doesn't even know what he's doing, probably, he's hurt, he's damaged in some way, his heart, something, he's sinning in some way, allowing something bad in his life, and he's, that makes him act this way, he doesn't even know what he's doing, probably, it's just the way he is, he can't help himself, and you know that this person is like this. It's like you can't, you can accuse Satan of being Satan, but at least you know how he acts. You know that Satan will come to kill, steal, and destroy. So when this narcissist person is coming to kill, steal, and destroy you, don't act like you weren't aware of it or, or you weren't, okay, for some time you weren't, but the second time around, the third time, the fifth time, the hundredth time that this person hurt you, uh, you know, don't be surprised. You love him, so you have to choose. Do you want to be with this guy who's always hurting you? No, then, then leave him, okay? You have the choice, and of course it's difficult because you love him, you love her, whatever, you know, uh, so I'm mainly talking about women who are complaining about narcissist guys, but men can also encounter psychopath women and and whorish women who lie. Okay, so it's not just men who hurt women, there's also women who hurt men. And then maybe because a woman hurt a man, he becomes some sort of narcissist, he's selfish, and he doesn't really trust you. And... Yeah, whatever the case may be. I don't know so much about it, but I know that if you 
dwell or delve too deep into this narcissist subject and gaslighting and all these terms that are so vague and abstract, then you're you're probably gonna go be more mentally insane. And like you're gonna and the only thing you're gonna manifest is more sickness and more hatred and more of these people in your life. So please seek out the better things. That's my main message right now. Just seek out better things. Yes, there are narcissists. Yes, people. there are some sick people in this world and they don't know, even know what they're doing. But they're, they're being manipulative and everything. These are like survival techniques probably from their side. And like, or their way of seeking excitement in a relationship because they're so freaking bored that they don't know what to do. They seek excitement. They want drama. Okay, so they do something probably that is not really agreeable to you or not really healthy and it's toxic and you're going and you're going crazy because all you want from this guy is his love and, and his affection and his trust and you want him to be pleased with you and he is probably deep inside he really he has such a love for you but he's not really uh, pleased pleasured in the way that he doesn't get the excitement that he wants or something he's seeking drama or he's he's seeking excitement so give it to him then if you want to be with him give him the excitement give him whatever it is if that's what you want if you want to be with him um of course not whatever it is i'm not saying you go do something really evil but yeah, if he wants drama and you want to be with him, give him some drama. Be Play hard to get. You know, probably the reason why a narcissist is not pleased is because he wants you to have a higher value in his sight. I'm just guessing here. I'm just like thinking, okay. He wants you to be harder to get. He wants you to be a rabbit that he can chase and catch. He wants you to be hard to get. He doesn't want you to be so boring. Okay, you, you're, just, you're just playing into his hand. You're just, you're not giving him any excitement. No, no chase. Maybe from the day that you met him. You were just completely in his arms without him having to do anything to get you. And this is not pleasing to him. This is making him bored. Like, why should he be with you? Do you know, if you eat eggs without salting it, it tastes nothing. Okay? Are you saltless? Are you saltless movement? A person salt you. There's nothing challenging about you. Maybe you're just nothing to this guy because you you give him no no friction no challenge no resistance you know like also in electricity you have resistance right because you 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 turn the knob down so you only allow a smaller portion of things to get through and it's like it's it's just pushing through and this is what this friction gives satisfaction excitement it's a higher velocity, like it has a higher frequency power going through there. But if you allow the gate wide open, um, there's less pressure going through. And this is what the guy is probably experiencing. Like, it's too little excitement. He needs more, mm, more power, more velocity, more frequency, something. And you're not giving it to him. You're just giving boredom. He's so freaking bored. He's going. He's looking at other women. Looking, looking at porn, giving some excitement. I mean, is that too much to ask? Like, what? What? Uh, what do? What does your man give you? Does he give you excitement, or are you bored with him, or what? Maybe you're a, a very completely different match. Like, none of you, he wants excitement, and you want no excitement. So what? What is it? Are you with the wrong man? Then find a new. I'm not, I'm not actually, I, I shouldn't be saying this, but 
maybe sometimes that's better you find another man and even though it's a sin there's forgiveness in Christ Jesus so we live in the time of mercy I'm not but I shouldn't be like saying that people should find another relationship while they're already married or or um, or have had sex and children and everything yeah so I don't know what to say about that but yeah this is just my my rant like because I would go on Instagram and it's like these are the signs and traits of a narcissist. He gaslighting you and like, what the heck is gaslighting? This term is so abused. Gaslighting. It means nothing, right? Gaslighting. And and, and every person you, you ask have a different uh, like description of what gaslighting actually is. Oh, he's gaslighting. That's the worst. Like, what the fuck is gaslighting? It means nothing. Gaslighting is when you put the steam, the gas on full in the kitchen and you let the, the room saturate with this gas and then you light it on fire and then boom, explodes. That is the gaslighting. So what does... Well, anyway, whatever. Whatever. Use your terms. Use your gaslighting terms. Seek out the narcissist traits and syndromes and methods. And all the wicked ways that a narcissist acts. But please. Get a, get, a, get a life. Get your life. Like. Find your way. Instead of complaining about this guy or this girl. Forever. And acting like you're insane. Or acting like you've become insane because of this person. 